Okay, so I truly think that this is the most exciting day for um, Erin Condren lovers who have been um, patiently waiting for a ring system. Um, so I just wanted to show you all what I got in my Erin Condren launch day order. I have my accessories and then I also have um, my new Erin Condren daily duo and the rings. So do a flip through and I will show you the accessories that I got. So I'm gonna start with accessories just cause these are um, right here. So I did purchase the Flora. Obviously I'm a sucker for any type of floral pattern. Um, so I got the mini snap-in bookmarks. I just really love these colors, the blue, the tan, and this light pink color. Um, this I got specifically for um, the um, folio, and I will show you what that looks like as soon as we open this up. I bought the Flora designer sticker book, of course. I do have to be honest though, I always buy these things and then I don't use them as frequently as I should. I think I just like to have them as a collection. So just to do a quick little flip through here. So you have the dots, it's a beautiful ro rose gold color. Some um, cursive uh, quotes. Again, these beautiful um, like neutral pastel colors. I mean, I guess that's a little contradictory, but they're, um, they're more of like a mauve color palette. Um, so we have the boxes, we have some beautiful, um, stickers with the, um, flora print, some, um, checklists, some more, um, stickers or round stickers, the washi tape, it is so pretty. The rose gold is such a beautiful touch. And then what's also really cool about the Flora um, sticker book is that it also comes in gold. So you have the rose gold um, here, there's some silver stickers, and then you also get the gold. So these are just some um, uh, quotes. And then you have the gold flowers. I think that, I'm trying to determine. Um, so they're not exactly clear, um, but they're not, I don't think you would be able to see them if you place them. Uh, I don't think you would be able to see the outline very well if you if you place them in your planner. Some more uh, blank boxes. These are my favorite. I love these, the little flags. It looks like you get actually a few different sets. You get the purple, the pink, um, the two, like a tealy blue, and then a more baby blue. And then we get some um, half circles and another set of blank boxes. And that is it. Beautiful, I absolutely love that. I did purchase the um, sticky notes. I haven't exactly thought about what I was gonna do or what I'm gonna do with these. Um, typically I put them in the front of my ring planner, um, but because I don't have the, um, or the coiled planner any, or because I don't have the coiled um, planner anymore, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these yet. Um, but these are also so pretty. Again, I don't really use them. I think I just like to have them. I feel like my collection is complete with them. And this is also really cool too. It does say the back, but I wonder if you could even make something um, really cool with this. Just a beautiful pattern. I absolutely love the Flora um, pattern this year. Um, I got this additional set of stickers. So I think if I remember correctly, I can't remember if I'm um, if I heard this somewhere, but when you purchase the um, ring daily duo, I'm not sure if you got a pack of stickers with it. Um, so the flags, um, some decorative uh, circles. We have some more flags. Um, this is kind of cool. The um, habit checklists, um, some silver flags, birthday celebration. And then just some blank, um, some blank flags. Yeah, I'll have to look as soon as I open up the, um, the, the planner to see if you get stickers with it, but I'm not this year. Um, so I got, let me do this. So my order got a little kind of messed up. So this came out of it, but for purchasing on um, launch day, you got this pen. Um, I've actually never tried one of the Erin Condren pens before. And I also got the Flora pen again. 
I think it was just so I could have it. And there's a uh, spot in the um, folio to add a pen. I don't know if I'll actually use it. I'm very particular about my pen selection. But the box is really pretty. And then, let me put it back in. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's like a rose gold. Again, it's like that nice blue color. Super pretty. I'm excited to try it. Okay, so those are the two pens that I got. And then I got, um, let me put this over here. And then I got two notepads to match. Again, my order, I guess I kind of got a little messed up, but that's okay. Um, let me not show you that one because that one's kind of bent. Um, so I got just the, um, I can't remember exactly which one I purchased, but I got one that had the um, blue pattern or blue color at the top. And then I also, let me put this over here. And then I also got the medium notepad as well this year, um, particularly because there's a spot in the back of the um, folio that you can add a medium notepad. No a medium notepad. Um, and I got this this one in pink to match the the folio that I picked. I really like these. I use I use these to just make to do lists to keep in my desk, um, and I also use them in my budget book as well. I've never had one of these, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, Possibly to-do list, possibly notes. Um, we'll see. <laughs> okay, let me set this over here. And then this is the, um, the small to-do list pad. Oh, it's actually a sticky notepad. Um, and I purchased this because there's also a place where I'm going to put it in the, um, in the folio. Okay, so now what I'm most excited to open... So it's interesting, this year um, is the first year that you don't actually get a box anymore. So typically you get um, a nice like um, box that you can store your old planners in, but this year the ring system comes in this little pouch. I actually kind of like the pouch to be honest with you. I have boxes from all of my other Erin Condren planners. Um, so I imagine that I will just, you know, Put my old planner in there um, or just store it on the bookshelf with some of my other ones that I have too. I usually take the stickers out so I typically end up uncoiling it anyways to you know take some pages out that I like and put them into my new planner. I know I won't be doing that this year because I have a ring system but I don't know we'll see. I'll probably store it in with the other one. So let me take this out. I want it to like stay in the you guys are seeing this as the, at the same time that I am. I haven't opened anything up yet. Close. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice little pouch. Okay, so this is everything that comes with um, the ring system. So um, like usual, you get this like little welcome um, pack. It just has some different... Um, different items in here, some stickers um, for gifts, and then you get the two coupons. So this is the same as it is other years. So it turns out that you actually do get some stickers, apparently, with the, um, with the ring system. However, these are much different. So in the past, um, the stickers have always been themed. So they've been themed to match the um, the theme of the planner. So, um, this is the daily duo. Um, so these were the stickers that came with it. So yes, you don't get the, um, stickers with the ring system anymore. So that is why I ended up purchasing, um, these. So now I will have the stickers to match, and then you get these with the ring system as well. So interestingly though, um, you won't be able to store these stickers in the ring system because this is um, for the seven by nine, and then this is for the A5 size. So I think a A5 is like typically, I think the planner people will come at me, but I think it's like a 
five and a quarter by seven maybe? Maybe seven and a quarter, so it's a little bit smaller. Um, or if these, the stickers are a little bit larger, so they just won't be able to be stored in the, in the ring um, folio. That's okay though. I typically like to, if, if it were up to me, I would actually store my um, stickers and mini binders anyways. <laughs> Um, you get a perpetual calendar. I really like these. Um, you typically get this with every, you know, with every planner that you order in the past. Um, but these are really nice. You can do like little gratitude um, notes. So like you should, you could write something that you're thankful for. Um, I t actually typically use mine to calculate my hours for work. Um, so I like highlight the week and then um, record my hours that I work for each day. So these are pretty useful. I do like these a lot. Um, okay, so these are the inserts. So interestingly, okay, hold on for a second. So this is July to December um, 2021, and then we have January to June 2022, and then July to December 2022. You know, I don't think that I ordered an 18 month planner, but maybe I did. Who knows? Um, okay, and then this is the folio. So at first, um, just by like, you know, um, feeling it and touching it, it's actually really soft, which is kind of nice. Um, I'm pretty partial to um, Filofax uh, folios. I really like mine from, um, I have a Domino and I also have a Malden. I have two Maldens. Um, and I would say, you know, this is actually, it's really soft compared to, it's probably pretty similar to the Malden. Um, my file of facts is actually like much more, um, or my domino is actually much more sturdy compared to this, but it is nice. It feels um, really flexible compared to the file of facts. So um, what I was saying that I got this for was actually to go in here. I remember seeing this like, I remember seeing this on the picture and I was like, okay, I have to get that. I don't want to like break it though. Like, it's interesting because there's like two, like the cardboard pieces in the middle, but essentially that will go there. I don't want to like bend it. Um, okay, so let's open this and see what this looks like. So one of the reasons that I was like extremely excited that they came out with a ring system is because my domino, particularly with the um, with the flora rings, I think would be beautiful. Um, yeah, these are actually pretty hard to open. Holy crap! Um, so those are a little tough to open. Um, but let me just put these in here so we can kind of see what it looks like. I imagine that you probably won't be able to put all of the planners in here together, which is, I don't know, that's maybe kind of nice. So you can only probably do the six months at a time, which I guess is actually the case with the, um, with the Daily Duo too. I actually, so I was a little bit worried too about the size because I'm actually pretty used to the seven by nine. I've had that ever since I started using Erin Condren planners. And because the A5 is smaller, I was worried that I wouldn't love just how small it is, but you know, it's actually pretty manageable. So yes, yeah, so you could definitely only get one, um, one of the six months in here, which actually, I, like I said, I think that I kind of like that just because it's not, um, it's not too fat. So like my Domino, um, I have my petite planners in here and it's pretty, it's pretty big. And as you can see, my, um, bookmarks, um, don't exactly close very nicely. Um, so yeah, I think I kind of like, I think I actually really like the, just doing the six months at a time. Um, so as you can see, you get these really nice dividers with it this year. Um, so just kind of doing a quick flip through so you can um, put your name here. I always make something with my Cricut. You have the boxes, you just have the six months boxes in this um, set, I think with the, um, with the Daily Duo from, oh yeah, it was also just the six months, um, the six months boxes, the six month boxes and then a blank 
kind of similar setup to this as well. Um, so then you have a beautiful um, illustration of a flower with a quote for each month. Um, I kind of like the smaller monthly layout. That's really nice. It's a smaller notes page, but I have to be completely honest with you. I don't really use this as much as I should. I really like the subtle design here. Um, it might be small to put some stickers in, you know, just thinking about some of the, um, the boxes that I've had from previous years. But again, I don't really think that that bothers me too much. Sometimes I use my months to do, um, like my budget or even just gratitude. I kind of switch it up um, based on the month. And then you still have the notes page and then you have the dashboard. I really like, I love, I absolutely love the flora with this um, script. I think it's really pretty. And then you have your um, day. So it looks like it's the same setup um, for this year uh, or from last year, I mean. So you have the um, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. plus the extra um, blank space. So you could, you know, do eight o'clock or just have like, you know, dinner plans in there or something. And then you have the to-do list and then you have the blank space to for notes or, um, you know, tracking, whatever you want to use that for. You also still do have this small calendar here, but I have to say it's actually much smaller in this journal, or in this um, specific planner compared to um, the seven by nine as we would expect. So I'm just gonna skip through here. Um, there's a blank notes page at the back, which, oh, it's actually a, um, a full page. With, that's really nice. I think that typically you only, yeah, typically you only get a um, the back of the, the last day. Something else that's really nice is that they ended up doing um, full Saturdays and Sundays. I love that just because I really like to plan out my days on Saturdays and Sunday. Yes, they're less busy than work days, but it's still really nice to be able to have a full day. Um, oh, let's look at the August design. So we have the August. Um, again, we have another one of the, the mauve colors from the color palette. I'm just gonna flip through and show you the months. September is the purple. Um, October. And then November is like a nice like tan color. And then December is another blue or maybe like a tealy blue. I just wanna look at one of the Saturday, Sunday pages. Oh yeah, that is so nice. Yeah, that's great. I will have to say, um, it's actually pretty small, so some of the, the script is actually a little bit difficult to read. Um, I, don't, I don't really necessarily know how important that is, but just, a, just a, a, an observation. But yes, absolutely gorgeous. Um, one of the things that I did want to see, so again, I know I'm like very partial to Filofax planners, so I wanted to see if, um, I've, ha I've had some, I've purchased planners in the past and um, as you know, they don't always fit perfectly in the in the Filofax planner. So let's just see if I, do, I don't know that I will use the um, the Erin Condren folio. I might I might switch and use the Filofax. So just for reference, it fits perfectly. That is a huge relief. Um, I, t I use, so right now I'm using my um, domino to hold my petite planners. So I like, you know, I rip the seam out and then cut them and hole punch them. And because they don't fit perfectly, I, I was not wild that the um, folio system for the petite planners didn't perfectly fit <laughs> um, the petite planners. They would like stick out at the top and that just really bothered me. Um, but yeah, so that's really cool that the... Um, that the inserts for the, the ring system fit perfectly in the A5 um, Filofax planners. The cool thing is too with the ring system, so now you'll be able to order um, like custom things for your planner. So I purchased these, um, these dividers from an Etsy shop um, and I wanna be able to use them. So I imagine, I, I think I'll end up probably switching to use the, the, Filof or the Filofax Domino. Um, and I also just love these like little, I like that you can order the, the Traveler's Journal, um, 
bows with that. So I imagine that I'll probably switch. I also love, love, love how beautiful the flora looks with the, with the blue um, domino. So just for reference, let me snap these bookmarks out. So you can see what the color palette looks like. So it's a little, you know, it's not, it's not perfect, but I think it actually looks really nice um, with this particular color. They also have a pink domino, and I imagine that I might end up ordering that too, um, just so I have a place for my petite planner, or my petite, um, yeah, my petite planners. So I'll put those maybe in the pink one, and I'll use this one for my Daily Duo. Um, but yes, like I said, I don't remember ordering a 18-month planner, but apparently that's what I got. Um, I do have to say, the rings like this uh, ring. I don't love it as much as I like the the, um, the Filofax ring, just the mechanics of it. Um, it's a little bit, you know, it's not the same. Um, but this is really cool because you could put some sticky notes in here. You could put your credit cards in here if that's what you, um, if you carry your credit cards with you. Let me also, oh, I am just like, absolutely in love. I'm so happy that they finally came out with a ring system. It just like makes my heart happy. I remember the days like, you know, back when I would like, you know, make my own inserts and have to cut them and do all of that. I'm just so thankful that Erin Condren now has a ring system. So let me see if I can get, oh my, this is like... So the medium notepads actually fit in the back part perfectly, so that's kind of cool. See, now I'm like second guessing myself, will I use a file fax? I don't know. They also, they also have this really nice um, folder back here so you could like store stickers, um, maybe some, you know, documents. It's nice because typically with the, um, with the Daily Duo, you got, um, you got the um, folder or the, the um, maybe it's not called a folder, but it's, you know, where you can put stuff and why can I not think? Yes, like a folder. Um, but you didn't get that with the um, Daily Duo this year. So you could definitely put some, you know, documents in here. Oh, I just bent that page, that's so sad. Um, and then, you know, you could, you could put credit cards in here, stickers, maybe some other post-it notes. And then this, eventually, after I end this, I'm gonna get that perfectly in there. But that's just really nice. The other thing that I will say too that I really like about this is, first of all, you can add a pen um, here. Again, I don't know that this would be my pen of choice. I would definitely probably use one of my um, gel velocity pens or my Sharpie pens. So you can, use, you can put a pen there. Um, and the other thing that I love about this setup compared to the Filofax is that it lays perfectly. So I always, um, I leave my player on my desk. I don't, I, t I work from home, so I typically don't take it anywhere with me unless I'm like, you know, on the run somewhere or I do go into the office for the day. So this is really nice because it will stay flat on my desk. Um, whereas with the Filofax, it definitely doesn't stay open very well. Um, you definitely have to like have some pages open for it to, to sit flat and then you have, you know, that there too. The other thing that's really nice is you don't, you definitely don't have enough, as much space for storage in the, in the, in the domino. So you only have this front folder and then you have this. So, I mean, you could definitely still put a, um, you know, a notepad back here and then you do have this for storage, but I kind of like, I kind of really like the, um, you know, the credit card slots and this extra place for maybe some sticky notes. And then this is really cool for just like a, you know, a quick place to jot down some, um, some things that you need to do. So that is a quick flip through. Um, again, I, I just have to say, I'm so, so happy that Erin Condren came out with a ring system. I think that many other planner, um, many other planner peeps and people in the uh, planner community will also love this um, switch as much. Um, so yeah, um, I will, um, I'll link the um, Filofax Domino below and I will also link um, the 
dividers that I have too that I purchased from this Etsy shop because I think that these could become really useful in the um in the um ring system so like if you just wanted to yeah these are really hard to open like I'm like using all of my strength to get that open but yeah these are these would be like a really nice touch I mean they don't line up perfectly um but maybe just for like some protection in the front and the back so like I I just said you know a couple minutes ago that I had actually already bent this back page which I'm really upset about um but it would just be nice you know just to have that like protection to keep your pages safe um or even just use it as you know some dashboards but yep these are available for purchase on Etsy and then the other thing too I think that this just came from Filopax but it's really nice too. Like I put all my um, petite planner stickers in here. Um, so we could, you could store those maybe in the back or just some extra, you know, documents again, because you don't have that folder. So I will link, um, link that below. But again, so excited that we finally have a ring system um, available for purchase in the Erin Condren um, uh, on the Erin Condren website. And I am so excited to move into this planner. So thanks so much for watching.